Hey, welcome back to the revolution and a brand new WWE2K20 video as early today WWE in 2K unveiled a brand new series titled Ringside Report with the first official look at gameplay in this year's game. In our previous video, we broke down the new gameplay features on hand, but in this video, we're going to take a look at all the superstars showcased as part of the video. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE2K22 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. This time around we're not going to dive into any of the gameplay aspects and focus purely on the superstars, the attires on show, as well as the entrances and a sprinkle of speculation. With introductions from Jinx and Christina out of the way, our first superstar on show is the new WWE Champion Bobby Lashley as he seemingly sets up for a dominator on the Miz before hitting the big ending through the raw commentary table. We then get another look at John Cena in WWE 2K22 performing either what looks to be a brand new entrance animation or victory scene before taking a brand new look at Asuka. Judging by the footage, it looks as though Asuka has the same victory animation this time around, which is once again backed up moments later with another look at Asuka celebrating her win on top of the turnbuckle. The scene also provides a better look at Asuka's face model in 2K22 with previous trailers and clips providing only a brief look. As previously stated in other videos, Asuka can be seen sporting her Royal Rumble 2020 attire, which I think looks completely badass. One thing I can't wait to do as a fan of the creation suite is go in and discover how many of the colours we can switch up on Asuka's attire to make different variations of her attire seen here. It looks as though the textures have certainly been updated, with the sequins on Asuka's armbands especially standing out. You might be sick and tired of hearing about hair physics by now, but if this is anything to go by, it definitely looks like they've been improved this time around, which can be seen here on Asuka, as well as our next superstar, Sasha Banks. As stated previously, Sasha is sporting her Backlash 2020 attire and what looks to be a brand new entrance animation. In the previous Royal Rumble trailer, we had a quick glimpse of Sasha that seemingly teased a new entrance animation for the boss, with this clip possibly backing that up here. Sasha's animation this time around looks far more fluid and less boppy or dancey to say the least as seen in WWE 2K20. I've said this time and time again but I really am loving Sasha's model in 2K22 and I just need to see her entrance in full. Up next we have a new look at The Undertaker in this year's game as he chokes on his former rival HBK. At the Royal Rumble, we had a sneak peek look at the traditional Hell in a Cell model, with today's video confirming the red Hell in a Cell is seen in recent years on WWE television. While I personally prefer the traditional Hell in a Cell, it is cool to see both cells once again making the cut. Following that, we have another Bobby Lashley segment, who in a vicious statement performs a big ending on the move's originator, Big E. Up next, we have a better look at Damian Priest this time around as he makes his 2K debut in WWE 2K22. First off, I have to say Damian looks absolutely awesome and easily one of the best looking male superstars shown off in the entire game so far. Thanks to the footage, we can see Damian performing his NXT and early main roster entrance, which, let's face it, is far superior to what we have now. I'm personally really excited to see how the LEDs and Titantrons elevate the entrance, which can easily be seen here with our next superstar Roman Reigns. While initially I wasn't a huge fan of WWE's recent Titantrons and how they essentially became near plates, you can't argue that they look absolutely stunning here. The lighting from the Titantrons vastly improved the overall product and make the entire product look far more lifelike. The scene shows the Universal Champion making his entrance as part of his new Tribal Chief persona, which, like the lighting here, has been a huge breath of fresh air. Up next, we have the current Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch, who, as stated in a previous video, is sporting her Royal Rumble 2020 attire. Becky can be seen performing her victory scene from the last few games as she celebrates her win. I won't lie but I think that it is a shame that several of the women don't seem to have new victory scenes but given the many improvements, I suppose I'll let it slide here. Following Becky, we have a look at Hulk Hogan in WWE 2K22 as he performs his iconic leg drop on an unsuspecting Robert Roode. The scene also provides another look at one of the new referees in WWE 2K22 who is a complete double of Angelo Dawkins. Next up, we have another look at the R-rated superstar Edge making his way to the ring, which looks pretty damn badass. The huge Titantron here really does make a huge difference and looks truly epic. Not only that, but Edge's model looks so damn good that it almost makes me forgive just how bad his previous instalments were. 
thanks to the scene, we can see that Edge does have a brand new entrance in 2K22, which far better represents his current return in WWE. Speaking of WWE legends, we have another look at The Rock in this year's game. Comparing Rock's entrance to previous versions, it looks as though Rocky does have the same entrance animation, but I can't be 100% certain. Now, what I am 100% certain on, however, is the fact that that The Rock still looks phenomenal. It may sound gross, but the sweat glistening on The Rock's body completely adds to the realism, not to mention that detail on the skin. We then have another look at Asuka making her way to the ring in her usual wrestling robes, which look far more detailed this time around, especially when you compare the cuffs around the sleeves and the armholes. As previously stated, Asuka certainly has a brand new entrance animation in 2K22, with today's footage backing up that notion. In 2K20, Asuka could be seen holding a fan with a kabuki warrior here returning to her route similar to that of her 2K19 entrance. 2K have stated that many items and props have animations this time around, with Asuka's new WWE 2K22 mask showing off that very feature here thanks to the beading. Up next, we see Humberto Carrillo making his way to the ring. Thanks to brand new trons and a seriously cool attire, Carrillo looks far more detailed this time around. Judging by the footage, it looks as though Carrillo has the same entrance animation as seen in 2K20, but still looks cool regardless. Following Carrillo, we have the Monday Night Messiah turned visionary Seth Rollins, who makes his way to the ring in the most Rollins way possible. Like many of the superstars shown off in the early 2K22 footage, Seth has certainly been updated with far more detail to his model and his attire. From one badass to another, we have a brand new look at Shayna Baszler in 2K22 as she makes her way to the ring. I adore Shayna's model this time around and honestly I think it's probably Shayna's best model to date and looks far better than the model shown off in the original Hitlist trailer. Thanks to the footage, we get a better look at Shayna's Royal Rumble 2020 attire, as well as a brand new entrance animation. This time around, Shayna can be seen making her way to the ring holding her towel, along with those brand new physics mentioned earlier. I'm especially impressed with Shayna's walking animation this year, which has far more swagger and looks more fluid and lifelike than ever before. I don't know about you, but I seriously can't wait to kick some ass with a queen of spades. We then switch to one of this year's pre-order bonuses with a look at The Undertaker's Lord of Darkness persona. The Lord of Darkness version of The Undertaker was last showcased as part of the DLC for WWE 13 with a vast improvement on the take since then. We then get a brief look at Macho Man Randy Savage in a similar shot to that showcase last month. We then get a look at a new and improved version of Booker T who looks far more detailed compared to 2K20 thanks to that new technology 2K are using this time around. While Booker does look great in the face, it's a little bit jarring partnering his older face model, no offence, with a classic version of his character and I personally would have loved to see either a de-aging mechanism to make the classic model match his face or a more recent version of Booker for the fans to play with. Following Booker T, we have another WCW veteran in the shape of Goldberg with the same footage seen several months back that still wows me to this very day. Thanks to those new particle effects, Goldberg's entrance has never looked better. Speaking of new effects and animations, we then get another look at the incredible model of Bianca Belair as part of showcasing the new hair animation. In previous trailers, Bianca has looked great, but here we get a real close-up look at the Royal Rumble winner and I can't get enough. As we can tell by the footage, Bianca definitely has a new entrance animation and now holds her glasses while making her way to the ring with one hand and twirling her hair with the other. Following Bianca, we see Cesaro making his way to the ring, complete with neutrons and lighting, as well as his snazzy looking model. As with many previous superstars, Cesaro's entrance looks especially epic thanks to those large titan trons and all new lighting and effects. Not only that, but the updated texture to Cesaro's jacket look flawless. Speaking of amazing lighting and titan trons, just look at Damien freaking Priest. Talk about looking amazing. We see Priest once again making his way to the ring, showcasing those new clothes clothing physics that look far better compared to previous years. I won't go on too much because I'm sure you're all fed up with me repeating the same thing, but damn does he look good. Next up, we have a more definitive look at Naomi, who, pun intended, looks glowing. <laughs> Naomi can be seen spotting a pink glowing version of her attire from February 2020 with a different hairstyle. Judging by the animation, it looks as though Naomi doesn't have a new entrance animation this year, but the length for Naomi's entrance has been vastly improved and you can clearly see the fan favourite superstar is seen here and in the previous clip last month. I don't think I'm alone in saying Naomi has never looked this good in a 2K game. 
We then get a quick look at the hugely improved version of Drew Gulak before Sheamus makes his way to the ring looking like the ultimate badass as he returns to his Celtic warrior roots. Ditching his The Bar phase means Sheamus has a brand new entrance which far better fits the tone of his new gimmick. We then get a look at AJ Styles making his way to the ring with brand new hair physics, trons and lighting before getting a preview of the WWE 2K22 Rey Mysterio showcase. The clip confirms Rey Mysterio vs Kane from Cyber Sunday 2008 as part of their No Holds Barred match. The match which saw Rey come out on top confirms both the return of Cyber Sunday Arena as well as the stop sign weapon which hasn't been seen in a WWE game for quite some time. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm totally gonna abuse the Cyber Sunday Arena and I plan on recreating my very own women's Cyber Sunday matches to please my inner diva child from back in the day. With the focus remaining with Rey, we get a quick look at Rey and Damien in action with an awesome showcase of the Raw Thunderdome Arena. I won't go into detail about the gameplay as we touched on that in our previous video, but what I will say is that it's awesome to see 2K bring in the virtual crowd boards, even if that does bring back nightmares of the performance set in the era. As the video begins to wind down, we get a surprising look at Beth Phoenix in WWE 2K22 as part of My Rise. While it may not be an official in-ring or entrance version of Beth, we can see that she's been updated for this year's game in what looks to be a coaching role for the story. Could this mean we receive multiple versions of the Glamazon? I honestly hope, and given many of the other superstars seemingly have multiple attires or models, I wouldn't be shocked to find Beth has one too. The clip also shows off a more up-to-date version of Shawn Michaels as he emulates his real-life role as seen in NXT. We then get a quick recap look at some backstage footage before closing out on some Rey Mysterio showcase footage of Rey and Eddie's WrestleMania match as part of WrestleMania Goes Hollywood. The clip also confirms yet another new referee model for 2K22, with this referee modelled after the classic Smackdown referees back in the day. It's not 100% confirmed, but it looks as though the clip may be part of a quick time event as seen in previous games that allows more complicated spots to be replicated in the 2K series. Well, that wraps up all the showcase men and women in today's Ringside Report trailer and I have to say I'm loving the community's energy and hype following the trailer. When it comes to the women, we seriously do have some great models this time around, with Bianca coming close to being the best looking female model on the show. Before I start cheesing over the outdated lighting and textures, I should probably wrap things up, so let me know what you make of all of the models on show today, as well as what you thought about that gameplay trailer scene earlier on. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution, hoping you all have an awesome week.